Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beloved Scorpios. I will you all a bliss. I will all is wonderful on your Saturn's day. I will you're enjoying that day off, chilling out with the family, watching movies, or just even taking care of you. Self-love, self-care day. We're going to tap into the energy, see what's coming in, going out, going on with my beloved Scorpios. To anyone that may be new, welcome. As I said, my name is Q. I am an intuitive. I am a channeler. I do tap into the energies uh, clairaudiently. So I do listen to music and those messages that come through the, through the songs or the title of the album or the name of the artist or the name of the song, the lyrics even, uh, tend to resonate. And tend to kind of like blend very beautifully with the messages that come out with the tarot cards. Um, right now we have big pun and this is called you came up. <laughs> How fitting Scorpio. So you came up, you done came up out of the darkest, <laughs> out of the darkest of times. You done came up out of the struggle, out of the strife. I feel like some of y'all came up out of that rock you was hiding under. <laughs> But um, I just feel like you all, you know, you came up. So it's like you leveled up. Um, there's a sense of growth I'm picking up on, um, you know, even becoming wiser. You know, you came up out of situations, even unscathed uh, situations that were, you know, trying to line you up and set you up uh, to to destroy you, to to bring you down. I feel like you, you know, you kind of re were resilient and persevered through some really really um, difficult situations. And so with this song, I do feel like the divine is acknowledging, you know, that you've graduated in some degree, that you've kind of leveled up, you've came up is another way to say that you are, you know, at a, you're in a higher position, a higher rank um, than you may have initially started at. So this is growth, you know, I pick up growth from that. So that's beautiful. So you came up and I feel other people are seeing that. Um, you know, not only do you know that because you had to live that, but I feel like other people can see your growth. Other people can see your transformation. Even um, I also feel like there's acknowledgement, you know, recognition from spirit, from divine. Um, so that's beautiful. And we got 540 on the clock, on the time clock. So that nine represents the highest number of change. So you absolutely have uh, changed and I'm hearing for the better. So that's a beautiful energy to start the reading off with. Um, before we delve any deeper, let's do some house cleaning. Um, so anyone that may be new, my readings are general. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements. Even check your Vedic. Um, sign. I know for Scorpios, um, that would be Libra. So check your Vedic sign, check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Uh, this is also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So, um, so let's go ahead, call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit team, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe source, the divine to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of the cards. And so it is, so more to be, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we're going to tap in, tune into the energy. So you came up. So things are looking up. I feel like um, I'm hearing like promotions, recognitions. Um, you, it's like there's things are opening up for you. So you, you, you're going to have some some wish fulfillment coming through for you all. So this is really beautiful. Right now we got Mac Wilds and this is called Don't Turn Me Down. And on the bottom of the deck. We have uh, of the uh, witch's wisdom, we have Lil, uh, what does that say? Letha. And this says intensification. And so with this song, Don't Turn Me Down, I feel like somebody's feelings are intensifying and perhaps they are 
looking to approach you, looking to come towards you. And maybe they see that you've grown, see that you've been transformed. Something's shifted within you. And maybe somebody is, you know, they can't like fight the feelings anymore because there's some set level of intensification. You know, I feel like there's somebody erupting. You know, I see this fire right here. It's like there's, you know, somebody's erupting, you know, so there's these feelings that could be erupting within someone. Um, maybe they've been trying to hold it together, keep it together, maybe even keep it hush. And now it's just like they can't do it any longer. Um, this person is afraid of rejection because the name of the song, like I said, is don't turn me down. So they don't want you to turn them down. Maybe this is someone that you are familiar with, someone you may know, maybe an old friend, colleague, neighbor. Um, maybe they are somebody that you knew in a former life. You know, maybe you have a twin flame dynamic. Uh, but this is somebody that is fearing your rejection, fearing the worst. And, you know, they're trying to ignore some feelings, um, which is, you know, right now they're holding back. But whatever it is um, that's bubbling up, you know, whatever is erupting within them is, is literally like urging them to to come towards you, to come out of hiding. I feel like this person's hiding, but they're hiding almost like in plain sight. So maybe they're watching you. You may have a secret admirer that may be watching like your social media platform. Maybe this is a colleague, like I said, that you don't know feels this way. Um, but we'll take, we'll, we're going to take a peek, peek, figure it out. So on the, the, um, split, we have, uh, balance and intensification. So see, somebody is trying to stay, you know, stay in control. They're trying to control, um, their feelings, you know, um, they're trying to control, you know, how they come off. Even I feel like this is somebody that's kind of hiding their feelings, uh, out of fear, out of fear of rejection. So they're trying to remain like, you know, cool, calm and collective. Like it's not really bothering them being, you know, um, in separation or not being um, able to communicate these feelings or be in your presence. But I feel like they're, it's, it's really more of a struggle for them. It's, it's becoming something that they can't, you know, contain anymore. These feelings are intensifying, which means that the more they build up, there's like, there's going to be an explosion eventually, you know? So let's tap in tune and see what we got coming and going out, going on. Yeah. I feel like you drive them wild also. Like there's something, you know, about you that drives this person wild because this is Mac wild. So let's tap in tune it. And the name of the album is called a love story. So this could be, you know, remember I was using that term for the past couple of readings. Like, you know, there's a development of a beautiful love story for Scorpios. And it's like the divine is aligning you with someone perfect for you. You know, all those prayers, petitions, you know, that you have sent up. It's like the divine is, is literally going to um, bring that person that you've been praying for and bring that person with those very attributes and characteristics and you know, all those things that tick your boxes. So this is very beautiful, very, very fitting. So let's see what we got. Let's cut the deck. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have imagination. So what did I say? Some of you all have manifested this person. You know, you've manifested it by not only speaking it into the ethers, you know, but also like, you know, perhaps you were visualizing, you were visualizing yourselves in certain situations, certain circumstances. I feel like, and that's confirmation with the train. So you all have been visual, uh, manifesting this, you know, with imagination, confirmation again. So it's almost as if like, you know, what you have spoken into the ethers, you know, those prayers, those petitions, as I said, um, you know, setting intention. Uh, this is like that magi energy. You know, this is like that, you know, that energy of, you know, because this is a witch, you know, so many of you could have been doing like your own little you know, spells, love spells, you know, manifesting what you wanted, journal, journaling your thoughts, journaling your new ideas. And I feel like, you know, this is why this person is, you know, kind of like in the background, you know, kind of trying to feel it out, trying to see how to approach you, how to come in. Um, I feel like many of you are also um, very intu intuitive right now. Like you're very, you know, you're, you're thinking more logically, you know, with things. You're not just taking action. You're like making sure to dot your I's, cross your T's before you jump into, you know, into motion. Um, and I feel like this is also, you know, it's like you're, you're, you, you want things to be perfect. It's, it's like you're trying to perfect something. Right now we have burning spears 
and this is called um, road foggy. So it's interesting that that's called road foggy. And then you see that there's like this, this energy here up in the skies, like a masculine energy, you know, so this is almost like, you know, the divine is almost clearing, you know, out the fog, you know, maybe you were a little confused, conflicted, maybe torn between, you know, maybe stuck in two minds. Um, and you had to be clear about what you wanted. Maybe you were communicating one thing, but your actions were showing something else. But I feel like now there's a sense of you like having clarity uh, because this air energy and imagination is literally like, you know, this is you being very logical. This is you looking at things um, from that bird's eye view, getting, you know, that, that full picture. Um, maybe you're evaluating things, maybe you're sitting and planning and preparing, maybe even strategizing, maybe you're imagining yourselves, you know, doing whatever it is you wish to do or being in certain circumstances. But I do feel like there is, um, you know, a sense that, you know, you have uh, your ancestors and angels kind of giving you little downloads um, and you're following your intuition. I feel like there's a sense that you are following your intuition, you are listening. Um, you know, to your higher selves uh, with that burning spirit. It's just reminding me of, you know, that energy that was showing intensification where, you know, it was like this, this light, you know, bubbling. Um, and it's almost like something's erupting. So it's, it's as if something you've manifested is, is approaching. It's incoming um, with raw road foggy. Maybe it's been, you know, kind of like it hasn't been a, an easy transition or it hasn't been an easy process. Things were happening in divine timing. You know, so maybe there was a, a, a bit of confusion, not really knowing um, how things would turn out. But it's like you, you remained resilient. You stayed focused and you trusted your intuition ultimately. All right. So the bottom of the deck, we got magic. Didn't I say you was manifesting something? So many of you were using like, you know, uh, candle magic. Maybe you were journaling, as I said. Um, imagination is literally like what you think you create. Um, so that's like visualizations, that's like setting intention um, and putting intention into whatever it is that you want. So even with these candles, you know, you could be burning candles to manifest, you know, whether it is love, whether it's abundance, whether it's prosperity or protection. A lot of you could be burning candles at this time, crafting candles. Um, but I am feeling like some of you all may be doing, uh, you know, maybe you handcraft candles for a business. Um, right now we have Sade and this is called paradise. So I feel you all are manifesting so that you could live in, you know, a lap of luxury. You want to have, you know, a, a fruitful life. You want to have abundance. You want to, you know, just have things expand a little, you know, maybe, you know, a lot of you all, as I said, you know, with the came, you came up with big pun. I feel like many of you all had to, you know, come out of some really difficult times and all you want right now is, you know, a little peace of mind, a little, you know, a little happiness, a little joy, you know, so you could be manifesting what you want. Um, and I feel like with the song Paradise, I feel like you're going to be living in paradise. Like some of you all may be taking a trip to go to paradise because she's like riding her broom. So I feel like some of y'all, you know, may be visualizing, you know, to manifest some sort of trips to manifest just, just, you know, just your birthright of just living in abundance, not struggling, not, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Um, and I feel like these wishes are coming true. Like these blessings are going to be coming in. That's what I'm picking up. So let's see what else we got coming in, going out, going on. Thank you, spirit. So let's finish that shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we got rebirth. So you all have transformed, as I said, gone through those startling metamorphoses, going through many life changes, enormous change and transforming for the better, gaining a better perspective, gaining a better understanding of yourself, of the circumstances, learning how to navigate, you know, relationships, tough terrain, you know, just learning, learning to be better, learning to respond better, learning to be a better version of yourselves. You know, but ultimately, you know, this is this is showing that you all, you know, you've made those changes. As I said, you've ascended because you came up. So that would speak to, you know, you going through some sort of, um, you know, you regenerating, you know. And uh, so we have a uh, secret here. So I was picking up on like a secret admirer, somebody that could be uh, watching you, especially with that Mac Wild song. Um, you know, um he was saying something about like, I, I, I hope, you know, dang, I forgot what he was saying. What was the name of that song? It was um, don't turn don't turn me down, I believe. And so they don't want you to turn them down. You know, they, they, this is somebody that fears rejection. 
you know, so this person could be secretly watching you, somebody that you've manifested. Maybe this is, like I said, maybe that twin flame energy because, you know, you got the runner chaser dynamic. I don't feel this is an ex. I feel this is new love. This is somebody that's on your frequency and vibration, but someone that could be a little shy, maybe a little apprehensive because they know um, that you've just gone through a major change, transformation. So you may not be as... Um, you know, open, you could be a little guarded, you could be more reserved. Um, so you're not as receptive. Uh, but I do feel like something beautiful is going to uh, blossom here. I feel like there is some beautiful um, opportunity for love to come in, like you're going to be very happy. Uh, the summertime is like when things are vibrant, growing, blossoming, blooming. And I feel like there's a love story, just like that Maxwell name of that album was saying that, you know, somebody is eventually going to come out of hiding. And I feel like you're going to be feeling like you're in paradise because this is going to almost feel like, you know, like I said, that wish fulfillment, that wish being granted uh, is as if like the divine heard exactly what you was, you know, calling in and asking for. And so they're giving it to you exactly the way you asked for it. And I feel like, you know, as I said, there's, there's some level of like your angels that are assigning this, you know, 1616, 16, that's 77. Seven. So that reduces to four. So that's five. The, I mean, that reduces to 14. So that's five. So somebody will eventually communicate this person that's in hiding that secret admirer. That's kind of like watching you and studying you and trying to figure out, you know, their approach, their strategy. Um, is eventually going to come through. Maybe they'll reach out and speak to you during the summertime. Maybe this is someone who's born in those summer, um, you know, during those summer months. And we have rebirth. So this could be someone that you know already, you know, because with rebirth, maybe this is someone you can reconcile with. Uh, but this is your energy with rebirths. Uh, so, you know, whatever death, maybe there was an ending, maybe there was a separation, a ghosting, just no communication. But I feel like, you know, with the summer, this is saying, uh, things can definitely be um, maybe rekindled, but we shall see. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. What else is going on with our beloved Scorpios? What do we have coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios? They have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. So I feel like you got to clear some things up first, and we have awakening on the bottom of the deck. So someone is coming out of, you know, like almost like a deep sleep, you know. Maybe this is someone that was trying to fight the feelings. Maybe this is somebody that was trying to clear out because we got clearance, trying to clear, you know, clear out some some old baggage, you know, get rid of, you know, some some old baggage, maybe a relationship that they was closing out because we see that you've gone through some major changes with the rebirth card, transformations with the rebirth card. So maybe your person, you know, with mirror uh, that that twin flame energy is always mirroring one another. So someone else is, you know, clearing out, you know, the old so that the new can come in. And I do feel like uh, once this, you know, this person or whoever this is that you're attracting, I feel like once they've completed this, um, you know, once they've done this great purge, you know, once they've clean, cleared, cleansed themselves of whatever it is they were, uh, they have attachments to. I feel like there's something that can blossom. There's something that can develop um, and, you know, and see that. What did I say with that intensification? We got passion here. Someone has a lot of passion, a lot of love. And this is something I feel that they've been keeping, you know, very quiet. They've been keeping quiet about their feelings, keeping their feelings, you know, private and secret, you know, hush. Like I said in the beginning, felt like somebody was being very hush about their feelings. And now those feelings are intensifying. And right now we have uh, Stevie Wonder. This is called Rocket Love. So with Rocket Love, this is somebody that's going to come in. Remember, I was picking up. You know, with that, uh, it was, uh, what was that, 1616, 77 has 14, 5. I was picking up somebody was going to come in and eventually, like, spill the beans, you know, start expressing their feelings, start, you know, telling you how they do deeply feel. And it's because their feelings, their emotions, their passion for you is intensifying. They cannot deny this any longer, but they know before they come towards you, they're going to have to clean up something from their past. They have to clean out their closet. Like, it's like, you know, you, you, you got to, like, when you when you're trying to build a new relationship, you got to make sure you close the door to your past. You got to close that chapter, wrap it up. You cannot still have anything lingering. There can't be any residual anything. You got to clear it up, clean it up, cut it off, 
before you even think about starting something new. And I think that's why this broomstick is here, because somebody is literally doing just that. You know, and with rocket love, this person's feelings are intensifying. It's almost as if this person is fearing they're uh, losing you or they want to move in before they lose you or before they've lost you. Because this, this, this is something that they are like, it's like almost shocking to them, you know, how they feel, you know. And um, that's why I get a sense that somebody is watching you, you know, because, you know, if you're not in communication with someone, um for their feelings to be intensifying, they would have to be, you know, tuning in and watching and, you know, ad ad admiring you from a distance, from afar, you know, to see that you've gone through change, to see that you're transforming, to see this light, this new, improved version of you, which is why they could be feeling, you know, this urge to now clean up their shit, you know, to start doing their work, to start cutting off their karmic cords and, you know, completing their karmic cycles. But somebody feels fire and desire, passion for you. This is somebody that's definitely, um, definitely a love. And as I said, you know, they're awakening to this truth. You know, somebody is becoming aware that they feel this way. Maybe they've denied this. Maybe some of you know who this is. Maybe this is the one that got away in your mind, or maybe that's how they feel about you. Or maybe there's just this sense of familiarity when you do meet this person. I feel there is a sense that you have a twin flame that's coming in and this person is mirroring your energy. And I don't feel this is an ex person. I feel this is a brand new person you're manifesting. Or this could be somebody that you already know, but you've never been in a relationship with that person. And somebody is a coming, you know, they're awakening to how they truly feel. And maybe they are learning this um, because the two of you are not communicating. And because, you know, like I said, you, you're manifesting this. You know, they could be manifesting you as well. All right. But rocket love, this person definitely wants to, they want to rush in. I feel like this person wants to come in there. Like they're feeling this urge. Like I said, it's like building, you know. And look at this. Wisdom. Wise dome. This is what you all have transformed into. Like I said, ascension. You came up. And there's two owls here. So these two owls definitely would... And, you know, this would, um, to me, this insinuates the fact that both of you have grown. And it was just 22, 22 on the clock. So that's 4-4. Four, four. So that's 11, 11, you know, uh, twice. <laughs> and that 4, you know, is um, 22, 22, 4, 4, that's 8. So this person does see you like a wish fulfillment. You know, this is somebody that definitely sees you as, you know, someone who has healed internally, externally. You've learned to turn your pain into power, transmute negativity. Maybe they see you being very creative, co-creating with source. Whatever it is, like you've gained the wise dome. You learned how to become that alchemist. And I feel like this person has also been learning, you know, in this process. Maybe you going through your transformation has activated and triggered them which is why they're now clearing up and cleaning out their cycles. You know, they're going through their startling metamorphosis, doing their shadow work as well, you know. But I feel like you all are seen as very wise, you know, very nurturing, very, you know, very loving. You know, 23, 23, that's five, five. So there could have been some sort of ending with this person or, you know, just maybe an argument, maybe some sort of disagreement where the two of you kind of parted ways. Um, but I feel like every ending denotes a new beginning. So I do feel like this person is wanting to return. If this is someone you know, may have met, maybe this is somebody you felt is the one that got away, you know. And like I said, this is not an ex. So maybe you all never even took it to that level of being in a relationship or dating. You know, maybe y'all just enjoyed each other's time and energy, but it was always a fight. A sh you know, it was almost like that runner chaser dynamic with, um, you know, that twin flame energy. It's always like one person's all in the other one's fighting their feelings, you know, and that's why their feelings are intensifying, because the, the longer you all are apart and the more work you do, the more they're starting to awaken to their true feelings for you and because they're also watching you and spying on you. And they're seeing how you've evolved. They're seeing how you've matured. They're seeing how you've healed, how you've, you know, it's like you, you are, you're graceful with your shit. You know, you're not pompous. You're not arrogant. It's just like you're li literally very humble. You've gone through a lot, but you're still very loving and nurturing and caring. And they see you as down to earth. They also see you as very grounded, like you would ground them. And you see how this elder's eyes 
are just clear. It's like they also feel like you're psychic, like you're clairvoyant, you know, like you have some psychic ability. So they feel like you are um, like you could just see right through. You know, it's like you, you every all of your other instincts are more astute, if you will. It's just like more ac acute, if you will. If that's the right terminology. It's just like it's it's just like it's heightened, if you will. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're not even you're not even in their presence, but you're probably picking up their energy. Like I said here with the imagination, I was getting a sense that you all were very psychic and intuitive and tapped in, tuned in. So you're sensitive to energy. And these owls definitely would insinuate that there is some level of like major transformation that's coming. And I feel like it's going to come in the form of communication because this bird seems to be like coming in and landing. So this person may shock you um, with a message. And we got De La Soul right now, the future. So I do feel like this is somebody that's coming in because they could see a future with you. They're looking to have a future with you. And we have a simplistic and wisdom. Wise don't. So many of you have been very, very focused on, you know, just just loving yourselves, on finding peace, you know, creating a safe haven, mastering some of your skills and talents. Some of you may play the guitar. Some of you may play the bass. Some of you may play, you know, the acoustics, maybe you play in a, a piano, maybe you write music. Some of you all live in a city, you know, you might live in New York, you might live in Chicago, California, where there's a beautiful downtown setting and you like to just go down there. Maybe in the summertime, you like to go to one of those parks and just play your guitar and put out your little, you know, your little blanket and just be amongst the trees and just play music. Maybe you take your singing bowls out and you center yourselves and ground yourselves that way. I feel like whatever it is that you do musically, it just makes you feel grounded. It makes you feel like, you know, nothing else in the world matters. You know, I feel like a lot of you all, because this song is called The Future, I feel like you have a future in music. So you need to keep mastering that skill, honing those talents, those gifts that the divine blessed you with. Because it's like you all are becoming, you know, more efficient, you know, in that talent, in that skill set. And it's like, you know, when you're dedicated, it does pay off. Your hard work always pays off. And so many of you, this is what the divine is like saying, like, you know, that's your peace. That's your safe haven. Definitely be thankful. Be humble because you have so many angels. Look at all these beautiful array of feathers, these colors. And it's like you all know you have this attitude of gratitude. It's like you all know that you all are bliss, that you're like protected that you're favored and it's like she's touching her heart chakra you know so it's like you're very humbled you're very thankful because like I said I feel like y'all came out of some really difficult times you know but it's it's literally showed you just how strong you were because you had nothing else to lean on but your strength and I feel like you have so many beautiful angels ancestors that surround you protect you it's like you're in an armor of protection you know and I feel like a lot of you lost yourselves, like by honing skills, you, you knew the divinity of that divine feminine and masculine is creation. And so, like I said, with that star energy, I was picking up like a lot of you learn to co-create with source. You learn to transmute negativity and you tend to do that by, you know, being creative. You know, even if you're an artist, even if you, you know, like to paint or you like to draw, whatever it is that you do, it's like that makes you feel peace. That makes you feel at home, you know, and I feel like many of you have a bright future if you continue to hone those skills and sharpen those skills, because this is like, like I said, look at that healing. That's what you did. And you have grat you have th gratitude because you know that the divine was very instrumental in helping you heal. Both of these cards, the green and the pink, the green shirt she's wearing and the pink shirt dress that she's wearing, those both represent the heart chakra, you know, and I feel like you all are very thankful, very humble for coming out of some really painful, toxic, turbulent circumstances. But you came up out of that muck. You came up out, you know, of the holes people was trying to like trick you to fall into. Some of you fell into them holes. Some of y'all was stuck under them rocks, but you, you climbed out of it. That's what I'm saying, unscathed. And it's sad. It's almost like it's like it's a sad revelation of truth, you know, to discover that, you know, the people you loved or the people that you trusted, you know, would, would do things to to sabotage the connections or to 
um, you know, to betray you, to deceive you. But it's like, ultimately, this is a way for you to free yourself as well. You know, because when you know better, you can do better. This time around, I feel like you're going to do a better job at, you know, choosing who you want in your life. You know, this is more of your choice now, whereas before they could have chose you. But now you're going to be doing the choosing. You're going to make sure that you choose people that are solid, you know, people that know how to express themselves, communicate, make people who are emotionally intelligent, relationships that can blossom, you know, that can grow, that can evolve, you know, and stand the test of time. You know, yeah, this is beautiful. Meditate. You got meditate and healing. So a lot of you all, you took that time out. You did. You went into the hermit mode. You know, that hermit mode phase is literally about, you know, going within soul searching, you know, taking those internal self audits and just making sure that you are in a better place emotionally, you know, internally. This is centering yourself, grounding yourself, releasing what doesn't serve you. You know, meditate to get things straight. A lot of you had to come to some really difficult decision to release those, those people with whom, you know, you loved because, you know, that was the only way you could heal. You got to release. You got to let them go. And right now we have. Um, who is this? This is called Pump Up the Jam. I'm not sure. Oh, Technotronic. And this is called Pump Up the Jam. Yeah. So. Technotronic, I don't know, and pump up the jam. We shall see. I'm not going to even force a message if there is none because I don't get it. <laughs> but we got rebirth again, so that's beautiful. So this rebirth definitely, you know, this is the second time it showed up. It showed up first in the uh, witch's deck, and now it's showing up right now in the um, the awakened soul deck. So the beautiful thing about this, as I said, you know, by you going through those major changes and transformations, it's as if you've come out, you know, you, you've emerged someone wiser, you know, more sensitive to energy and also, you know, psychic, you know, tapped in, tuned in. And I feel like you've learned how to attract what you want, how to manifest what you want, because you've come out of, like I said, like you came out of that from under the rock. And it looks like she's coming from literally like out of a cave or out of some sort of like tunnel you know but it's like you've emerged someone wiser sharper you know and that that there just you know confirms that and as you can see here with this air energy you know this is like again you know speaking to you you know making decisions and doing things that are more logical you know not literally um you know making decisions based off your emotions anymore but making decisions that main that makes sense you know in a, on a logical standpoint, you know, and with pump up, maybe you was used to, you know, having people that was just kind of pumping things up, you know, pumping up the the circumstance, making it sound greater than it was. And I feel like here you just trusted, you know, your own intuition opposed to just allowing people to just pump shit up and make it sound bigger, make it sound better or fluffier. Or, you know, it's like, nah, you didn't allow anybody to gas you. Uh, to to dupe you it's like you you went through this transformation and as you can see she's like she got a smile on her face you know and she's coming out of this dark tunnel but she's made it to the other side and so this is like you know this is wise dome this is that energy of being wiser knowing that you know you just survived like you know death attacks you just did the, uh, you know survived you know people trying to you know take you down and slight you and dupe you and steal from you and play you and it's like you it's like you didn't get um you didn't get distracted you stayed focused you know you stayed focused and you kept your eyes on the prize you know and so we have here look at this rescue and it's because you knew you had the angels your angels were there to rescue you your angels were there guiding you leading you out of you know this 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 mess you know see there's like even here as I was picking up, you know, this energy in the sky, you know, it's like a divine masculine energy or, you know, just this divine's energy kind of like giving this person, you know, guidance, you know, nudging them along. And then you got this this bat nudging her along and then you have this hand that she's reaching up to to, to be rescued. So this is like you you have somebody that literally um, you know, maybe angels, ancestors, you know, 
Maybe you have spiritual parents, but they've rescued you, you know, and I feel like it's because you you just, you know, you. I feel you were willing to surrender to to not try to control the narrative. And as you surrender you, that's the only way you can be assisted, aided by the divine, because it shows you trust. You know, it shows that you're trusting. It shows that you are going to, you know, be more mindful to trust your intuition and to use discernment in those situations. So that's why this air and this rebirth is here. And that's what led you out of some, you know, some circumstances. So this rebirth, she's floating in the water. She could have been drowning. And this hand just came out of nowhere to rescue her. So this is beautiful. And I feel like somebody could be coming in to rescue you because they know that you, you all have been in some really rocky relationships. And this is somebody, as I said, they like what they see. This is somebody that appreciates you. And we have right now, um, this is called Earth Gang and this is called Stuck. Yeah, so somebody, you know, definitely knows that in the past you could have been in a, you know, a stuck and stagnant relationship and they're coming in to rescue you. You know, they're coming in. You know, this is somebody that's hid these emotions, hid these feelings from you all. You know, and I feel like because you've transformed, you're going to be more susceptible to taking a risk, taking a leap of faith and just following. I feel like your intuition and, you, you know, is guiding you also. It's almost like the divine is telling you to be receptive, be open. You know, that's what, you know, receptivity is just trusting your intuition and going with the flow. And that's exactly what she's doing. She's surrendering, relinquishing the need to control. And I feel like the more you open up, and are receptive, the more this will encourage whoever this is that's like kind of hiding and fearing, you know, rejection, you know, will will take that step forward. So let's see what else is coming in, going out, going on. Goodness gracious. So we got a couple of messages that fell out. Bottom of the deck, we have gift. So you got a beautiful gift coming in. And I feel like if you feeling stuck, you won't be feeling stuck. That tow truck is coming to pull your ass out of the ditch. Beloved, this is somebody that's like your angels and ancestors are giving you a gift. Like I said, they're handing you a beautiful gift. And this is like a crown. You're being crowned king or crowned queen. So it's as if, like I said, through you going through that startling metamorphosis and transforming and growing and changing your perspective and even your, you know, gaining a better uh, and more deeper, profound understanding of yourself. It's like you're being rewarded. You're being blessed with wish fulfillment. This is a beautiful gift from the divine. It's the end of a toxic cycle. 37, 37 on the clock. So that's 10, 10. So that's completion. You know, the completion of a toxic cycle, the 10 of swords, 10 of wands. You know, no longer are you going to be overcompensating, giving more than you're receiving. You're only going to be focused on those connections that are reciprocal. And no longer are you going to have just anybody around you. You know, you're going to be more mindful of the people you called friend, the people you, you know, have in your inner circles, the people that you take along with you on the ride. But I feel like this is a beautiful gift that you're being blessed. And this gift is in, you know, regards to this person that's holding the secret and keeping the secret from you in terms of how they feel, their feelings that are, impact, you know, um, intensifying. And this is going to bring a smile to your face. I feel like a lot of you may have like a, you know, a feminine energy in the spirit realm, maybe a mother grandmother, an auntie, maybe a best friend, maybe a sibling. Maybe this is even a spiritual parent, but they're blessing you and gifting you. I'm getting Mama Yemenya energy from this, uh, from this feminine energy because she's by the ocean, you know. Um, but this also could just be, like I said, you know, just a feminine energy, period. So let's see what we have here. So we have um, perspective. So somebody, like I said, they're trying to look at things, you know, from a different perspective. Maybe they're studying you, trying to figure out how to come in, how to approach you, how to reveal their feels. So somebody literally wants to come in and reveal their feels, but they're stuck on how to do that. They're stuck on how to approach you because maybe, like I said, there's been some time, you know, a time lapse between, you know, the conversation you last had with them and now. And maybe they're just a little you know, apprehensive or a little intimidated. And so they're trying to figure out a, an approach, you know, trying to look at things from a different perspective, trying to maybe they're in like that hermit mode because that's all about looking at things from a different vantage point, looking at things from a different standpoint. And maybe, as I said, I was picking up like, you know, somebody, you know, past person, um, not an ex. I got to keep 
saying that because I feel like you guys get the messages get a little blurred and that's just because the energy is all over the place. But this person is, you know, somebody that could be in hermit mode. So you may not have spoken to this person because that hermit mode is like a forced position. The divine will sit you on your ass so you can look at things in a whole different way. Uh, because maybe somebody was being very one sided, very, um, you know, very um, stubborn, um, very egotistical or very proud. And so somebody's just forcing the divine is just forcing someone to just stay put so that they could look at the situation from a different perspective. And what they're seeing or what they're realizing is that, you know, their feelings have not changed. You know, if anything, they've intensified, you know, they're 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 watching you. Maybe they're watching you all. Um, in a whole new light, like I said, some of you all could be literally like doing something online or, you know, maybe you have businesses, maybe you are, um, you know, you're starting something and or you've started something and you have, you know, some sort of public platform and somebody's watching you in secret and private, you know, and they're, they're getting a different perspective from you because they're seeing you in a whole new light because you've literally transformed. You've gone through a startle and metamorphosis. So they no longer, um, you know, it's like you're no longer that same person. They may have left, you know, in the past or ghosted or last spoke to. It's like they see you living your truth. They see you, um, you know, very creative, co-creating with source. They see you as a healer. They see you as more you know, uh, confident, more powerful. This is beautiful. And so we have meditate. So many of you are in like hibernation mode, you know, like that hibernation is pretty much like hermit, you know, because hibernation is, you know, that's typically when all the animals, all the bugs, you know, they go up in hibernation during the winter time and then they come on back out during the summertime, you know, it's like that rebirth. So it's like, you know, going within, you know, that's what the meditation is about. It's like going within, connecting to your higher self, seeking the answers, you know, the answers you seek are always found within. And this is taking that time to get it right. Meditating, contemplating and going within, doing those deep dives, you know, and I feel like this is what you're doing. So you could be in hermit mode, which is why somebody is just kind of resorting to watching you from a distance, from afar. And right now we have Eric Benet, Sometimes I Cry. So maybe somebody cries because of this distance, this absence, this ghosting, this non-communication. You know, maybe you all cry sometimes because maybe you feel, you know, um, you know, maybe you could be crying out of joy. It doesn't always have to be a sad thing. But maybe you cry sometimes during meditation because, as I said, you call you all could be calling in you know, wish fulfillment and calling in what you want. And maybe just the thought of what you want brings tears of joy or brings tears of melon, you know, sadness, you know, so some of you all could be crying or maybe somebody I feel more so somebody's crying for you because you are, you know, you're kind of like you're, you're, you're like um, in that emotional withdrawal mode. So you're like literally just loving you that you're on your self love, self care, vibes right now it's like you got your back turned to everything everyone and it's almost like you're saying i'm not coming out of hiding until you know till sometime <laughs> you know what i'm saying till i feel like i have completely rejuvenated my spirit mind body soul like you know so you're like really like closed off blocking everything everyone out and somebody's crying someone is crying for you i don't know what this is so that's confirmation for some of y'all. Somebody could be like, you know, definitely wanting to speak to you, reaching out to you. Um, but there's no call. Maybe they call in the wrong number. You know, maybe you all have changed your number. Scorpios are good for that. Y'all will change your number, your address. Nobody will know nothing. And somebody is crying for you. Like literally, Eric Benet is crying. Damn, they're making a song. And so we have, look at this. We have trust. So trust and then clearance. So somebody's clearing out, you know, clearing up, you know, uh, some sort of karmic cycle with someone with whom they may have lacked trust with. But they're also going through, like I said, that startling metamorphosis. This is literally like the, the, the this is the uh, evolution of a butterfly. You know, you literally see it turn this lava turns into a caterpillar and then it blossoms into this beautiful butterfly. So it's like this person was being restricted to some degree and they had to clear out some sort of karmic cord, you know, some sort of generational curse yoke. You know, maybe they had some sort of soul tie that they need to cut free from. But this is like a transformation that was like inevitable. 
So, you know, maybe there was a relationship they were in that they lacked trust in or somebody lacked trust with them and they had to grow from that connection because, you know, this is literally about, you know, growing and evolving. You know, this is about um, about learning. You know, this is always about teaching and learning. You know, we're here to learn. We're here to, you know, evolve, to grow, to become better versions. And so we have Jean A sending my love. So somebody is definitely sending their love and I feel they're doing so telepathically. This beautiful butterfly represents transformation. So just as I said, somebody's going through their own, you know, doing their own shadow work, going through their own dark night of the soul journey. And this person may have been triggered, activated by you, you know, going through yours, you know, because as I said, twin flames truly will mirror one another. And I feel like this person is now mirroring you. And this is why maybe they're now, you know, feeling like, oh, damn, my feelings, you know, for my Scorpio, my feelings have been intensifying. So they're now changing, you know, and it's, it was just 45, 45. So, yeah, they're, they're changing. You know, they're going through their transformation. They're trusting the process. They're giving into it. They have to trust. If they're not trusting, this is what they have to do. They got to trust that it's time to clear out a cycle, you know, because whatever isn't growing is dead. And I feel like this situation, you can't grow in a circumstance, you know, where there's there's it's like it's not feeding you. It's not nurturing you. Because otherwise you're just you're being leached. So they could be with somebody that's just kind of leeching. And it's just like that parasite, that energy vampire. And so they have to like move forward. They got to trust the process and move forward. Maybe they're there because I see like this, like there's a home, there's a door. So maybe they're there in a relationship based off of stability, the funds, the bills, the children, whatever it is. But they need to fly free like this butterfly. And I'm hearing that song. I'm like a bird, I want to fly away. I don't know who that is, but I, I'm hearing that song. <laughs> I don't even know the lyrics, but it's like that. That's literally, you know, this, they, they, they have to break free. And I feel like the more they trust the process, the more they see that this is what they have to do. And this person is sending their love to you, Scorpio, because that's we got Jean A sending my love to you. So that's that person, like I said, who's now looking at things from a completely different perspective, vantage point, And they're seeing like. Perhaps maybe with you, things felt more um, natural, more, you know, it just made them feel better. Because I saw that 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 card that was uh, speaking to um, you being very grounded, balance, you know. So they, they, they were they were in a connection where there was this it's lacking balance. You know, it's almost like they're, they're opposites, you know, and somebody's transformed, whereas the other person could very well still be the same. You know, still doing the same thing, still acting the same way. And the divine is like, you got to clear that out. In order for the new to come in, you got to clear out the past. got to clear out the old. Make room for the new. 47, 47, 11, 11. This is your twin flame, like I said. It was just 47, 47 on the clock. So this is your twin flame. What did I say about this person seeing y'all, you know, standing on, in your square? Like you guys are doing something where it's like you're in the spotlight, you're getting recognition, they see you as a boss, they see you as a leader, they see you as someone very powerful, very confident. Some of you all have podcasts, some of you all have TikTok, YouTube, some of you all are, you know, on Facebook, you may have groups on Facebook, some of you all do something in the spotlight and this person watches you and this is why their perspective of you have, has changed. This is why they're holding these feelings in privately because maybe you know, they could have pushed you away, but this person's feelings for you are intensifying. This is somebody that sees you as like a leader. They see you as someone who's taking your power back. They see you in your divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So they see you creative, very creative, very talented, very gifted. And you just like you just a magnet to to whatever it is you want. This is like this is a powerful energy. This is someone that knows their worth and knows their value. You know, they're very skilled, very talented, very grounded. You know, just as this is an air of confidence, you know, of love. And so right now we got Beyonce, me, myself and I. Didn't I just reference this song in the last video? This is the second time I referenced the song and then it showed up in the in, in the next video that I do in the next reading. So this is you. Me, myself, and I. This is what you built yourself up to, you know, being a boss, being a leader, you know, being self-confident, being aware, 
you know, being aware of your, your beauty, being aware of your talents, being and owning it, you know, more importantly, it's one thing to have those gifts and talents, but it's another to to own it, you know, to 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 walk in that that confidence. And that's what you're doing here. And this is what you've emerged as. You know, you went through your dark night of the soul journey. That's why you've gone through this rebirth, this transformation. And this is what you've transformed into, into your power, into someone who knows they're powerful, knows that they are the conduits of change, knows that they know how to transmute, you know, the pain and hurt and transform it into something powerful, beautiful, magical. And not only are you, you know, here, you know, healed and and strong and confident, but you now are encouraging and inspiring others to heal, to know their power. You're doing something that you feel very passionate about as well. So whatever spiritual gifts you have, this is something you are very gifted and talented. And this is something you all have come, you know, it's like you've had a, a, an, a, an awakening, a grand epiphany during your journey. You know, during those years of healing yourselves, you had some sort of aha moment, like what you should be doing, where you need to transition yourself. But this is powerful. Now you have a better relationship with yourself, self-love, self-care, self-discipline. Me, myself and I, you put yourself first. You're prioritizing your needs and you took your power back from those that were trying to render you powerless. This is very beautiful, poetic even. Might I say, if I did say so. So let's go ahead. We're going to tap in tune in, beloveds. Um, so me, myself, and I. So let's see what else we got coming and going out, going on. I know that I'm in need of disrespect. So if you cried a thousand times, you would suffice. You better sing, B. But I learned a lot along the way. That's what she's saying right here. Yeah, you hurt me, but I learned a lot along the way. And that's why you standing here smiling, powerful, strong, confident. Because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, beloved. This is like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Look at this beautiful energy. Queen of Pentacles. And you also have the lovers. So somebody definitely sees your worth and value now. They see you as somebody that is, um, as I said, like self-sufficient, independent. You took your independence back. Some of y'all could have been stuck in a codependent relationship. But I also am feeling like, you know, especially with this lovers, there's three people here. So as I was picking up, maybe if you all did know someone from your past, maybe you didn't know that that person you felt was the one had a whole other, you know, relationship going on. Maybe they kept that from you. Maybe you weren't privy to that information, but I do feel like, you know, a lot of y'all, uh, you gave somebody, you said, pardon my back. See how this feminine, I always feel like this is, you know, the Scorpio's energy, you know, just like you got your back turned and you're more covering yourself. So it's more like a protective energy. And then this energy here is just leaning in. She's okay with being, you know, in that little triangular situation. Whereas this feminine energy is like, yeah, no, I, I didn't sign up for that. So maybe this is why, you know, somebody is just watching from a distance because maybe there were some things that um, happened uh, between you and another person. And um, somebody is really, you know, like I said, getting some sort of epiphany, looking at things from a different vantage point. We got um, we got Jay Lib and this is heavy. So it's on somebody's heart. It's heavy on somebody's heart. Maybe somebody was in a whole full blown marriage, you know, because this Queen of Pentacles could speak to like a wife, you know. So let's see. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on, beloveds. So we're going to clarify these messages. And we're going to get additional messages. And then we're going to wrap it up. All right. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on for Scorpios. See this? This person wants to come back. You know, this is somebody from your past. This person feels left out in the cold, but they're like hoping to embrace you. This is what they're imagining in their brain. You know, they're visualizing. Maybe they're waking up in cold sweats, having dreams about you. And you see how they got this violin here? You know, so like I always hear air violin, like, you know, like, uh, sing me a sob story, you know, cry me a river. You know, this person, you know, because maybe this person with that five of pentacles, maybe they abandoned you. Like I said, you know, so let's cut this deck. They could have abandoned you and that caused the, you know, this transformation. It caused the tower moment, which, you know, which led to the transformation to begin with. But we shall see. So with heavy, this is heavy on somebody's mind or you're heavy on somebody's mind. You know, 
you're heavy on in someone's thoughts. So bottom of the deck, let's see what that is. So we have the king of chalices. Yep. So you have somebody who's definitely in love, very reserved, don't communicate, but they speak telepathically, communicate to you intuitively. And this is somebody that dreams about you often. This is someone that dreams of you often. They even watch you, you know. This is somebody that doesn't let you know how they feel, you know, because they they're they're very reserved. They don't they don't express or emote. You know, but this is that person that that dreams of you often. They're always thinking about you and they've watched you transform. I feel like the divine is saying that this person definitely wants to come back and, you know, express these feelings, express to you. Maybe they've gone through their own transformation, as we see here. And maybe this is one of the epiphanies they've had that they have to express and communicate because that's your love language, you know. Maybe this person was definitely used to pe like p women being subservient to them. Maybe they was very arrogant because when I see air, I'm hearing arrogant, like arrogant, you know, like maybe they was cocky, you know, because that air energy is telling me like the king of swords. So they could have been very sharp with their tongue, said some things they, you know, regret. And now we got raise it up. So maybe this is something that was dead, you know, and now they want to raise it up from the dead. They want to like they want to. um what do you say? Resurrect this situation is what I was hearing because raise it up. Who is this by? I can't even see the artist. But they want to resurrect this because I feel like this person did, um, unfortunately, especially with rebirth, they did something, you know, they did something that led to some sort of ending, you know. But I feel like they've gone through a transformation. And as I said, as you transform from this circumstance, this King of um, Cups could even be you, you know. You know, where you've transformed into this energy, you know, and maybe you're more reserved. Maybe you're, you know, being more, you know, you're not as inclined to show your emotion, whereas in the past you may have. And now you're being more logical. Now you're thinking before you act or may, maybe now you're waiting till you see, you know. You see the the uh, actions of others before you take action, if that makes any sense. So we see the king. Or the Knight of Chalices. See that? This person is watching you, baby. And they coming. You see how this knight is approaching this feminine energy? And this looks like, this always reminds me of like the star card. Because on, you know, traditional tarot, even though this is the Knight of Chalices, this reminds me of the star because she's like in that body of water naked. You know, and this is a very vulnerable state. So this person obviously... Um, they weren't vulnerable with you, but you were vulnerable with them. And so let, many of you have had to heal from that. I feel like this person is, is coming back to apologize. And I feel with this light, you know, they, they're holding like this torch of light. I feel like they've had some sort of epiphany because remember, you got perspective. And then you also have this card secret. And this is what we're about to clarify. So this person has gained a different perspective. And what it is, is that they've been keeping secret. They've been like deceiving themselves about their feelings. But I feel like, as I said, because you have changed and because you, you know, focused on healing yourselves and you said, you know, my vulnerability is my superpower. The fact that I am loving, the fact that I am empaths, the fact that I am caring and considerate and I am someone that is um, compassionate. You know, that's not something I'm going to change. What I will change is the manner in which I deal with people, you know, so you had to find balance. You had to find emotional equilibrium. And that's what you're doing here. But you're also healing. You're releasing what doesn't serve you any longer. You know, and this is also in return. This water is recharging you, revitalizing you in a, in, in a, a lot of ways as well. And that's why this person now, they have been triggered and activated to see you in your true light, you know, to see you as someone that isn't a threat to see you as someone that they actually can be vulnerable with because maybe like I said they could have been in a marriage that was like you know neither one of them trusted each other maybe somebody defiled the relationship and then they got back together with each other and you know they never trusted the same or maybe their trust is something rooted in their childhood you know but at the end of the day it's like they see you as non-threatening you know how can someone naked how can someone bearing their soul be a threat so, you know, what you have to do is be mindful to make sure that, you know, this person isn't approaching you, still keeping secrets that they may have kept from you in the past. 
You know, I do feel like with this perspective card, somebody is um, looking at things from a different vantage point and they may have saw themselves. They may have had a reflection of themselves. They may have caught their reflection in the mirror. You know, they had to do that, that, that shadow work, as I said. So let's go ahead and clarify. So why is Book of Shadows in perspective here for Scorpios, Divine Spirit of Love and Light? And so we got Usher Superstar. So what did I say? This person is watching you in the spotlight. That's why this secret card is here, because they're secretly and privately watching you and you don't know. And as I said, we already see that you're doing something in the spotlight because they see you as a leader. They see you as a boss. They see you as successful. They see you as someone powerful, confident, strong, inspiring, you know, and with the secret, they're like secretly watching. They're a secret admirer. And we got superstar here, Usher. So this person definitely sees you as someone very, um, very talented, very gifted, um, very much like, uh, you know, someone that, like I said, is a, uh, um, you just have this light, you know, it's like you just glow, you just radiate this, this confidence, this love, this light, and it's attractive. And this is why their perspective of you, their opinion of you has changed. And this is why ultimately their feelings were intensifying and they was feeling that passion, you know, that showed up because it's like, you know, now they're seeing you in a, in a way that they've never seen you. Maybe they didn't see your worth and value. Maybe wherever they were, they that connection was just based off of, you know, superficialities, material shit, cars, money, salary, you know. But at the end of the day, when you are, a, a you know, a spiritual being having a human experience and you start doing that internal work, you, you start to attract you know, other like minds, you know, you start to attract things that actually make you feel something. And I feel like those things that they may have um, put more precedence over, you know, opposed to their feelings is now starting to like crumble. It's starting to like, you know, they're, they're, they're changing their whole perspective as we see on what love looks like, what love feels like, or, and even on what they want ultimately in a relationship, you know? So they, they could be penning their feelings and thoughts down. They could be even, you know, manifesting you, <laughs> you know? You never know. So we have here the Nine of Pentacles. So look how this person is like cutting her hair. You know, this Nine of Pentacles, this is almost like obsession. You know, this is somebody obsessed. I, I get obsession when I look at this. You know, I, I get also like somebody who's, you know, because he's like, you know, he's willing to cut her hair. And I mean, is that a ritual? Is this somebody that's, you know, maybe he likes your hair. He likes your long hair. You know, maybe he likes your long locks. Because with Superstar, maybe he likes your long braids. Because both of these feminine energies have long hair. So maybe this is something they admire, you know, something that they're attracted to. You know, maybe they like that about you. But with this nine of pentacles, definitely they see you as that pre emperor status. Like you're very self-sufficient, independent, co, you know, you're co-creating, as I said, you're very grounded, you know, you're grounded, balanced and in alignment, you know, but they also, they, I hear the word submission, you know, it's like this person is like, damn near, I just get obsession from this. I don't know. I know this is supposed to be a positive card, but this person is just very obsessed you know, very obsessed with you, the way you look, your hair, something about your hair. You know, maybe some of you all have cut your hair. And we got Jill Scott all cried out. Yeah, so this person is no longer going to just sit around crying and, and hoping and wishing and fearing the worst. I feel like they're eventually going to come in. And when they come in, I don't know why I'm getting the sense now, like they're going to come in and they're going to be willing to do whatever. It's like I'm hearing cater to you by um, Destiny Child, you know. So this person, this is like the male version of catering to you. So he's going to be willing to like trim your edges, you know, trim your dead ends rather. And, you know, like he, he going to be willing to do whatever you need and you're just going to be laying there just, you know. Just letting them do it. <laughs> it's just, it's just like they, they have a different perspective now. So maybe they are going to be more attentive. Maybe in the past they weren't, you know, and now they're going to be more willing to, you know, help to do more things, you know, to do more things that you you desire or you that you require. Now, it's not even a desire. It's a requirement for Scorpios because look at this, the moon. 
This is this person's private thoughts, you know? This is their secret thoughts, seeing you, you know? This is what they truly want, you know, with this twin. I don't know why there's double energy, but it's almost like, it's like this dual energy. As I said, look at that mirror. So there's like this mirror reflection, you know? When they look at you, they see themselves. Something you've done, some work you've done, inner work you've done, you know, has, has activated them in some way. And what it has done is it has activated them to, you know, question if, you know, if, if what they have right now is really one, a, a relationship filled with love or if it's just filled with convenience. They're, they're being forced to look, you know, at this connection and, and, and look at things from a different perspective, like to really question that. Because with this secret, Maybe this is even saying, like I said, like with that moon energy, that speaks to also uh, not just reflecting, you know, reflecting internally, um, but that's also, you know, listening to one's intuition. The moon is is a uh, symbolism of intuition, you know, so there could be communication. This person could be communicating, could be watching you, you know. So let's, let's see. See this? You got the three of swords. So, yeah, there was a there was there was definitely some sort of triangular situation. And I feel like this is what's replaying. It's like whatever secrets may have come to light. And I feel like now they're being forced to look in the mirror. You know, man in the mirror. I'm hearing by uh, Michael Jackson. They had to look in the mirror and they had to look at themselves because it was like they, they, they were maybe they are starting to realize like how they sabotage something. You know, they sabotage the connection. You know, and they was definitely in two minds, you know, because you got two. This It's like two couples here. But I feel like this is the same person with two different women. You know what I'm saying? And so they, they had to look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? In the mirror right here at themselves, you know, in order to do the shadow work. And they gained a different perspective because this is called the book of shadows. You know what I'm saying? In secret. So they was keeping a secret. They was hiding things from you. And now because the divine sat them on their ass or rather, you know, suspended them into air <laughs> so they could look at shit from the upside down, upright or uh, whatever. Now they're looking at things from a different perspective and now they're looking at it like, damn, you know, maybe they was all, you know, in a connection and it was all based off of, like I said, stability, security, money. And maybe they were in a, uh, you know, being very submissive in that relationship, you know, whereas here, you know, they're visualizing um, and you know, more connection, you know, there's, there's more intimacy, there's more love. Whereas this one here, maybe they was in a relationship and it could have been something that was, you know, like forced. Maybe somebody's free will was being taken away because this guy looks possessed to me. I mean, he's like sitting on top of her, cutting her fucking hair. So maybe they discovered somebody was doing some sort of spell work because the book of shadows is literally a book of magic spells, you know? So we got here the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. So that's why a lot of you all had to take some time away. And we got um, Nas featuring Damian Marley. And this is called um, Despair. So now this person, you know, who caused despair, because this is the three of swords. And they caused despair because they were serenading somebody else, entertaining someone else, giving to someone else. And now we have, you know, this person looking back, reflecting. And you had to, you know, heal from that. Like I said, you had to go within. This is about taking those uh, deep dives. This is about soul searching. This is also about like releasing, you know, and I feel like during the summertime is when you, you know, it's like you're, you're reborn, you're recharged, you know, things are vibrant. So there's truth, there's clarity. Um, and I feel like somebody is gaining some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of confidence to come towards you to apologize. I feel like you knew. You know, somebody had someone else, you know, you knew that somebody, maybe some of you all are healing from some sort of third party or some sort of um, triangular situation you may have discovered because you see this woman is looking in. So it's like you, you found out about some shit and that's what led to you, you know, emotionally withdrawing and healing yourselves and taking your power back and focusing on that future that De La Soul was singing about, you know. The future is the summer. The summer, is, you know, right now we're in the wintertime. So that is the future. So your future is going to be bright. It's going to be happy. It's going to be, you know, a day of joy. And I feel like you're going to hear some good news because I see like, you know, there's this, these birds flocking, you know, right above 
you know, the tower of this castle. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication circulating back and forth. And I feel like you're going to come out of this hermit mode. You're going to come out, you know, of this, um, you know, this emotional withdrawal, you know, more rejuvenated, more revitalized. So let's see. Why is um, summer meditate here for Scorpio's divine spirit? Thank you. See that? Look at that beautiful energy. We got justice, beloveds. So you're going to get justice. This is like you are definitely getting good karma. You're getting good karma because you did things the right way. You went within to seek the answers. I feel like a lot of you all, you did your internal work. You healed. You healed at a soul level. And more importantly, I feel like you all took onus and accountability. You know, you took responsibility and accountability of your own healing. You know what I'm saying? You didn't leave it in anyone else's hands. You didn't wait for any apologies. You didn't wait for any explanations about why, who, what, where. It's like you just said, you know what, I'm going to do me. And you turned your back to the world. You turned your phones off, you relocated. You just created a safe space and a sacred space. And you devoted more time connecting to yourself, connecting to your higher self, connecting to your spirit team, your guides, your angels. And I feel like that grounded you. That also, you know, made you more um, more at peace. Like it puts you more at peace. And I feel like you're receiving good karma. Good things take time to create. I feel like the divine is blessing you with some sort of like, you know, there's an answer that's going to come in. There's a positive answer. There's positive things coming to you. And I feel like this is like, you know, whatever you reap, you sow. So you're getting good news. Things are going to be moving and flowing in your favor. You know, that's why this summer card to me just reminds me of happiness and joy you know, this is like when things are alive again. So it's like, I feel like in the summertime, you're going to see a lot of, um, I'm getting a lot of unexpected calls. So you may start seeing, because remember I was picking up the fact that there was a lot of birds here, you know, flying around. So I do feel like you're going to have, um, a lot of, um, unexpected messages coming around. People are just going to start reaching out, you know, especially with this sword up. You know, maybe somebody will reach out and apologize for putting you in that three, you know, three of swords energy. Um, bottom of the deck, we got the chariot. So as I said, unexpected, somebody coming in with confidence uh, and they're coming in with confidence because they have since like lightened their load. You know, they took their trash out like they got rid of them ba that baggage. They cut the karmic cords. They freed themselves, cut the yokes. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's because they trusted the process, trusted in the divine. And we got this chariot. So they're coming in quickly, assertively, confidently, uh, and they're coming in balanced, more important, because they know that's what you need. You know, especially with this justice here, it's like, you know, um, it's almost as if like, you know, whatever it is that you were asking for and praying for, it's like the divine is, is, is bringing exactly what you've asked for. It's like you're, you're receiving what you've asked for. You know, there is some beautiful beautiful blessing coming in and we got um Kendrick Lamar Yaya and that's my father's name my beloved Baba I love you daddy he is an ancestor so you definitely are you know getting some good karma I feel like you know your ancestors your fathers maybe you have mothers fathers it doesn't matter like you got angels that are on the other side like rooting for you and definitely like bringing in something beautiful and it's coming in quickly with this chariot, I feel like you're also going to be moving full steam ahead, you know, with new projects, with new love ships. Maybe some of y'all are relocating, moving, purchasing a new car. You know, you're going to get something, um, some sort of like blessing. This is like contracts. You know, I also feel like you're cutting yourselves free from anything that doesn't serve you as well. You know, everything is being handled fairly and justly. And I feel like it's because, you know, you, you took that Wusa moment. You know, I feel like a lot of you all definitely um, took the higher road in many situations. Even when you was backstabbed, betrayed, done dirty, you, you literally, you know, you, you, you showed the, the growth, you know, you showed that you came up, you know, cause you had so many opportunities to like, to clap back as we say, <laughs> and you chose not to, because you knew that wasn't a fight for you. You knew your angels had it. You just like, you, you, you said, you know what? I'm going to surrender divine and I'm going to let you handle it. And that's what the divine said. OK, thank you. You're getting good karma because you didn't try to play God in those situations. You know, even when it comes to like your man, your magic and, you know, your rituals, it's like you're not taking away other people's free wills. And those are things the divine looks at. You can't accumulate good karma and you like taking away somebody's free will or you're doing, 
anything that's, you know, trying to harm other people. It's like, yeah, you can protect yourselves. But I feel like when you try to play God is when, you know, that it gets a little, you know, it gets a little, uh, it's a little fuzzy, baby. But let's go ahead. Why is clearance and trust here for our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light? And so we have, look what we got here, the nine of wands. So what did I say? Somebody is finally saying enough is enough. The nine of wands, you know, the body language of this, the, you know, these two people is like there's a masculine off in the distance, you know, and he's holding like this flame. And then you see like this, this, it looks like a stork or some sort of bird right here. But then he's also, you know, there's like a goat, you know, and goats are uh, symbolisms of the devil. You know what I'm saying? So I do feel like, you know, and, and then there's a dove and then there's some other bird uh, totem, animal totem. There's a lot going on in terms of like animal totems. And, you know, with the goat, the goat is usually symbolized as like, you know, the devil. Um, so that devil energy could, you know, insinuate that somebody had some sort of addictions. Somebody could have been, you know, literally um, in a codependent relationship ta attachments, as I was saying, you know, and so somebody's trust may have been broken because I see there's two masculines here, you know, so maybe this feminine energy had the gift of gab and was trying to keep somebody kaput and stuck maybe for the security, for the stability, because they didn't want to, you know, pay all the bills by themselves. So they just knew how to sweet talk, gift the gabber, you know, deceiver. And, you know, this this is devil energy, attachments, codependency, fear, um, mindset. You know, this is like lack mentality. Uh, but somebody had to trust themselves. Somebody had to trust their own intuition, trust how they were feeling. You know, this person was being it's like she's throwing herself. In. She got her legs just all over him and she's like cradling him in some way. And it's it's literally just, you know, to me, this is something this person needed to clear out. You know, they needed to, to, to cleanse themselves, purge themselves of this energy, because I do feel like, as I said, because I see that goat right there. I, I just feel like this was somebody who was um, who had ulterior motives, you know, somebody who was very deceptive, somebody who was very sneaky. You know, this is somebody that definitely um, couldn't be trusted because the trust card also fell underneath the clearance. So I feel like somebody's realizing they cannot trust, especially with the nine of wands. This is somebody who's given chance after chance. So they could have been with this person um, for a long amount, you know, maybe nine years. Maybe this is somebody that they met in ninth grade. You know, whatever the case may be, this is why they felt this obligation. Even if you look at this masculine, he's all bearded out, stressed out looking. You know, he's not clean shaven. He's not looking. He looks disheveled. You know, so I feel like somebody had to really step up to the plate to clear some shit out because this feminine energy, you know, this is like incubus succubus, somebody who's definitely very, you know, enticing and seductive and, you know, even persuasive with her words. Um, she knows what the hell she's doing. And, you know, I feel like this person may have had some sort of epiphany at some point in time because, you know, this light is right above the masculine's head. And as I said, I feel like some of you feminine energies, even if it's not masculine, interchange it, switch the roles. You know, somebody's having some sort of epiphany. And this is that divine masculine. This is that twin flame that you all are attracting that could be wrapping up their own cycle. And so we have here the hermit. So see now there goes the hermit mode. So some of you all see there's two masculines and a feminine again. And so this is what, you know, maybe this person had taken some time out to, you know, to discover that they could have been in some sort of third party relationship. And with this trust card, they realized they couldn't trust this person. You know, they realized that, you know, maybe somebody was definitely um, sleeping around because he's like looking, you know, at this candle. Maybe he discovered that this feminine energy had some sort of you know, root work put on him, you know, candle magic because he's looking at this candle. So he could have discovered this at his home, at his place of, um, you know, residence, you know, this candle. And then he, the, you could see what this feminine energy is doing while he's, you know, discovering something. So it's like she she was keeping him hold up. That's pretty much like what, you know, that incubus succubus energy does, what that devil energy does is it likes to control shit. It's like very manipulative so they can get what they want, you know, and I feel like this is the same energy. If you look, that's the same red hair, blonde hair, whatever the color hair, it's the same feminine energy, you know, but this person now you can see he's cleaned up, you know, he's he's looking at things uh, clearly, you know, he's 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 trusting what, you know, spirit is telling them because that that flame is communicating to him. 
you know, and, and that, that candle is definitely communicating to him. So he's starting to trust himself and he's realizing that something has to change. He's changing the way he feels. Something's like transforming in him. It's like Christ consciousness. And we got Nas here. And this is called the slave and the master, N-I-G-G-E-R. Um, so, yeah, this person, what did I, I was picking up like somebody being controlled, you know, so this, the slave and the master is, is that, you know, somebody controlling. So they was definitely in a dominant, it was like so they were being dominated. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was controlling them, manipulating them, seducing them. You know, she, they were like a slave in this connection because I feel like it was really just rooted on finances, stability, security. Um, in the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of chalices. Nine of chalices here. So this is deeply what this person is now starting to um, imagine. You know, they're starting to look at, you know, the fact that, you know, when they didn't feel this, this sadness, this disconnect was when they was in, you know, the presence of, you know, that 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 water sign, that other Scorpio, that other, you know, um, that other uh, water element, you know, it's like this nine of chalices is like, you know, now Scorpios, y'all are holding back and rightfully so because you've been betrayed and deceived so much in your past. Now you're more, you know, you're more guarded. And, and, and this is how this person is feeling, which is why in the beginning that Mac Wow song, it's like they want to come towards you, but they are afraid. There's apprehension. There's a fear of rejection and then rightfully so. And so look at the body language of this feminine and look at the energy of that masculine. That's the same masculine energy that's here. You know, so this is why they were in two minds. They were kind of like, you know, torn between two places you know, and as you can see now, you're like, mm, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. And it's like, you know, because now you're looking for the actions. You don't care about somebody like showering you with a bunch of words and, you know, um, you know, you're looking for more action. You know, you're also looking for, you know, change behavior, you know, change behavior is, is what you're, you know, those are the only apologies that you're really going to be accepting. So with this fire, you know, maybe they're going to be coming in and communicating with you, you know, how they feel. Maybe they're going to reveal to you that they discovered some things in their relationship that was unsettling. Like, you know, they felt like they was being controlled or that they was being used or that maybe they found out that somebody was doing some sort of you know, magic. And that's why they had to clear that shit out before they could approach you, whatever the case may be. Um, I feel like y'all are not having it. Look at her body language. But let's see. So let's see what fire we got fire or passion. What is that? Passion and leadership. Why is passion and leadership here for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck. We got the magician. Can't make this up. This person's trying to manifest you. And look at that. The death. This is you. This is the death. This is what you've transformed into. And this is why this person has this passion, because they've literally have been watching you transform. They've watched you. You're like you're not you don't have any type of um, time for the bullshit. It's like you have literally, you know, X out anything that is a distraction, anything that is um, inauthentic or, you know, that is not genuine. It's like you don't have no time for fake shit. And so it's like you had to transform, you know, look at this. This was a journey. This was a struggle. Um, but you cut out everything, everyone that does not honor your greatest good. And this is the energy you've emerged as you've like regenerated as someone that's a power house, you know, and this is why their passion intensifies for you because they've literally watched you transform. They've watched you emerge as someone completely different, someone that they never anticipated. And they, they seeing you as like, you know, like I said, somebody that's like a co-creator, very powerful, like you, that magi. You're that, you know, that wizard, you know how to, you know, alchemize things. You can, you know, create potions and elixirs. You've mastered all of the elements. You know, you've learned to master water, fire, earth and air. So it's like you, you know, and with this, see this, they know that it's a matter of time. Look at this hour clock here. So it's like they almost feel like if they don't come in, they're going to lose you for good. And I was picking that up in the beginning. Like, it's like they know that they did a lot of dirt. You know, they did a lot of dirt, but they have fond memories. Look at this. This, they're memories of you. You know, look how these two are holding each other. Maybe you all used to lay together, you know, and, and just speak and talk. Maybe you all used to sit under the, you know, sit outside and look up at the stars or look up at the sky and just have conversation. Whatever it is, it's like they're holding on to some sort of memories. But it's like you've put those in the past. You've like put those behind you. 
you know, because you felt like betrayed. You've, you, you're now, you, like I said, you've transmuted the pain into power. So it's like now this person is like seeing you as that phoenix rising from the ashes. You know, they're seeing you as someone very, you know, powerful, very confident. And they really, really, um, you know, wanting to uh, manifest you. They're really trying to manifest you um, back into their life and trying to figure out how to do so. Um, so right now we have um, raw forever. And this is by Prodigy and the Alchemist. And I was just talking about the Alchemist. So, yeah, this person is also an alchemist. They're also very spiritual, also very intuitive, also very psychic. And they're also, um, you know, they're very powerful in terms of, like, manifesting what they want as well. So this, the, the two of you mirror, you know, but I do feel like there is a gift, you know. There's a gift that's coming in. So let's see what we got coming in, got on. on. All right, so on the bottom of the next deck, I'll be using to clarify, we have courting. So this is the same as the lovers. And remember how I was picking up like your ancestors, your angels, they were very intricate or very, you know, um, involved in bringing you into alignment. I feel like both you and this person may have ancestors in the spirit realm, you know, that are bringing you to into alignment because you both match each other's, you know, vibration and energy. I feel like this person has also been, you know, awakening. They've been going through their awakening and what's underneath awakening? I'm confused. All right. So, yeah. Yep. And I just dropped the card. Yep. And banishment. Let me show you something. I want to show y'all something. Something told me to look under the awakening card and look what's under this card. Hex. Banishment. And wasn't I just picking up the fact that I felt like this person that you are um, manifesting, this twin flame, this person that's coming into you was under some sort of spell, you know? And they're awakening to that. They, they, they've discovered it. That's why they're looking like Mr. Scruffy, because it's like they're not even there. They're, they're not themselves here. And that's why this big clearance card is here, because they got to clear that shit out before they can ever come into union with their divine feminine. So it's like they got to clear up that karmic cycle. They got to wrap that shit up before they could come to you. And that's the awakening. This is this person having that awakening, that aha moment. Because there's still three people in this card in this, um, you know, on this card, just as it was before that. So your person's dealing with three mofos and there's always two men. So even if this is men, you know, even if this is you, brothers, you know, like like I said, you know, there's there's another person in the picture. And that's the awakening. That's the aha moment. And that's, you know, ultimately, you know, both of you mirrored. You know, I feel like this person may have, like I said, with that five of pentacles that I was picking up earlier, it's like they may have like literally abandoned you, you know, went after something else or refused to tell you the details, you know, kept you kind of like in the dark. And now they're looking at things all, you know, in a completely different way. And, you know, whoever they was attached to, whoever they was dealing with, could have been doing some shit where they was doing some spell work. Because when you start cutting motherfuckers hair and using like, you know, personal body um, parts and, you know, things like that, that that's like, that, that's some real root work going on so they could have discovered that and that's probably what was secret that's what was being hidden from them you know that's why these you and this person could have been in separation because somebody was coming in between that you know especially with that devil energy that was up there lurking you know and i see with the book of shadows that definitely is you know that's the book of shadows which is you know a book of spells literally that's what the book of spells is called the book of shadows so that's what was lingering in the dark that's what was the secrets you know, this is what was hiding behind the scenes that your person, your twin may be discovering now. So right now we have, um, who is this? Uh, we got Jay Electronica. I feel good. So I feel like you're going to feel good. And this person feels good about how they felt about the connection with you. They felt good when they was around you. They felt good when they was in your presence. Like they felt like things was just organic, natural, it just flu it was just fluid. You know what I'm saying? Y'all spoke each other's love language. Y'all talked about everything under the sun, moon, and stars. It was like y'all were like minds. And that's why the divine was saying, I'm gonna bless you with this gift, beloved, because this is what you asked for. You know, this is what you've asked for. So let's go ahead and cut this deck. And we got the nine of sticks, see that? So this is somebody who took a lot. It's like tick, 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 boom, finally. And this is the same nine of wands here. So this is what your person is fighting off. You know, they're finally making that decision that this shit ain't worth fighting no more. It ain't worth fighting for any longer, you know, because like they're not going to be this, you know, the, the, the freaking kickstand in the relationship. 
You know what I'm saying? This person is like, yeah, I'm done. Now they're real, willing, you know, to fight for the death for this this relationship that they can actually, you know, visualize a future. You know, remember the future was playing by De La Soul. They could see a future with you, not so much with this person. See that? The father of baskets. That's the same king of cups. He was looking in a different direction now. Now they're looking back, looking back for their Scorpio because they already made the decision. It's time to, you know, walk away. You know, and they're very protective, very defensive now against that other person. You know, they want some like they literally ask him, what's better protection, God or guns? Because they done found out this mofo, this crazy psychotic person that they was dealing with, karmic, was doing some old heck shit, spell work. So it's like, yo, the question they asking, which is better protection, God or guns? You let me know. You know what I'm saying? Because they read, they like, what the, f <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What have I been trapped in for all these years? You know? And so now we got the daughter of baskets. Now this is, you know, the, their humble approach, you know, trying to come towards you humbly, you know, trying to offer something humbly. And I feel good, you know, so they're not going to come towards you until they feel good, until they feel confident. Remember that chariot card. That's about feeling balanced within yourself, you know, feeling that confidence, feeling like you know what you want to say, how you're going to approach it. So that's what they was looking to do is find that balance before they take action. And we see here with the three of sticks, something's coming, something that you've been waiting for. It's approaching, you know, it's approaching. And look at that, the 10 of coins. This is what you're waiting for. If it don't look like this, you don't want it because you already set your standards higher. This person knows because they've been watching your ass. <laughs> they've been your secret admirer. They're your pride, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they're your, your, your freaking fan, you know? They're watching and they know what you want. That's stability. The Ten of Pentacles is like, that's the epitome of that happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. Being emotionally fulfilled, financially fulfilled, building a legacy, growing a family, growing a nucleus, even being partners, solid partners. And the divine was saying, good things take time to create. <laughs> this is what you waiting for. This is patience, patience, young grasshopper. That's what that is. Everything happens in divine timing. Divine timing is the perfect timing. And look at that. Now they coming. This is the railroad bill. That's the chariot. So now, you know what I'm saying? Remember the, cha the, the train went by. So this person is definitely... They're feeling more confident. They're going to come in assertively. They're not going to be all shy and shit, hiding off in the background, liking and admiring you from a distance and from afar and unknowingly. Like now they're going to come out from hiding and say, look, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be all aggressive and shit. That shit going to turn you motherfuckers on. Y'all going to be like, oh, I like that. <laughs> See that? There goes that intensification, that fire, that passion. You know, attracted to you. This is somebody confident also. So you can see they're clearly building up their confidence because that that father of sticks is the father of wands. That's the king of wands. So he's very, very confident. You know what I'm saying? You know, he has an air of confidence. He goes after what he wants, you know, and they're very attractive as well. See that? Look at that. They're coming in for the victory, baby. And right now we have Eric Benet, love of my own. So this person sees you as someone that they could have you know, that beautiful connection with. They see this relationship as a spiritual union. This is somebody that wants to, like I said earlier, like they want to resurrect this. They want to reconnect. They want to reunite. This is someone you know. If this isn't someone you know, this is someone that's from a past life. But this is the six of wands. This is breakthroughs, victories. This is forward movement. This is success. And this is that king of wands. They've had that download, that epiphany. And they've also watched you transform and that shit is attractive as hell. And now they want to come towards you. Now they're going to say, look, you know, how are we going to do this thing right here? And with this Bishop C.H. Mason right underneath that, this is the manifestation card. This is the ma this is the magician right here. You know, no, that's not the magician. This is the um, part of me. That's the um, the uh, hierophant. That's the hierophant. So this person has like marriage on the brain. You know what I'm saying? This is how it goes for real, though, because that's that came out last. So this is what they see. This person has good intentions. They want forward movement. They want victory. They want to break through with you because it's like whatever they don't went through. It's like, you know, they had to go through it. It's like they had to go through this to to come to this determination of how they truly feel, you know, and to come into, you know, to come into, um, you know, contact with their feelings because I feel like they hide their feelings like they they don't allow themselves to be vulnerable. They don't allow themselves to emote or to express themselves. They were very hush. You know, 
This is somebody that's very hushed. The king of cups, you know, they feel very deeply, but they hide their emotions. They don't express, you know. And so now with this be, you know, this this bishop, you know, this is that energy of like, you know, maybe there were some differences, you know, that that may have, you know, and influence them in some way, influence their decision on what to do, on who to choose, on what to release or who to ghost. You know, maybe the two of you, you know, they thought y'all was more different than you actually were. And it took for them to stay put in whatever relationship and, you know, to be unfulfilled and to be che getting cheated on and having people doing all type of shit, you know, just taking away their free liberties and free will and manipulating their energy for them to realize like, damn, Scorpio was a completely different vibration, you know, and this is something they were hiding for a long time. They was hiding these feelings, but that mirror, they had to do that, that, that inner work, that shadow work in order to discover the truth. And they also were forced to do that work because the divine, you know, forced them in that hang, you know, that hangman position is perspective, you know, looking at things from a different vantage point. So divine spirit of love and light. And so with love of my own, this person now realizes like, you know, they, they, they need to find a love of their own because maybe somebody they was with was giving their love to everybody. You know, I was picking up like a seductress or somebody who was very um, like that incubus, succubus energy, energy vampire. Somebody just, you know, very fluid, just giving it up to whoever, whenever, however. You know, not committed, just very free spirited, if that's what you want to call it. So why is um, Book of Shadows perspective, Nine of Pentacles and the uh, moon here for Scorpios? Uh, spirit of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Just fell on the floor. Look at that. I can't make this shit up. This is the two of baskets. This is they want to find a love of their own and the love of their own is y'all. Scorpios, this person loves you guys. This is the epiphany they had. And they sending y'all asses messages. They visiting you in your dreams. They done found out somebody's dark secrets and shit. Like they found out some shit they did not like. And it was whoever they was living with. Because this is the nine of pentacles. So this is somebody they was living with. Maybe the mama or the daddy of their children or family members. Like they realized somebody was like obsessive, possessive and deranged as fuck. Like this is crazy. Like what are you doing? Why are you cutting our hair? You know, and she looks like she's resting. So she don't even know that he's. Like, like hovering on top of her and cutting her locks. Like, are you serious? But at the same time, you see this double energy. So this is what she, you know, this energy is doing. Like this, this, this is double energy. Two masculines, two feminines. So they was in two minds, you know, confused. And one of them is true love, whereas the other is like this mirror. So this is like shadow energy. Like they was dealing with a karmic. You know, a karmic that could have been putting some sort of spells on them. But they've been keeping them feelings, their feelings, their deep feelings. You know, what they've truly felt. There's two of baskets. It's like, you know, look how smile. He's smiling more than she is. She grinning. He's smiling. Cheesing. You know what I'm saying? This is how that person feels about y'all, Scorpio. Whether feminine or masculine, it doesn't matter. Both of y'all are coming to the table fully healed, fully emotionally intelligent. You know what I'm saying? That's what this person is searching for. Y'all speak each other's love language. And I feel like this person thinks about you a lot. You see how the feminine is like in the clouds, sort of. So it's like this is like this person daydreaming, dreaming, thinking, you know, sending their love to you. Remember Jeanne? So they send in love to you telepathically, intuitively, via your dreams. And we got Gerald Levert, baby, hold on to me. So y'all are in separation. There's no communication. There's no conversation. There's nothing. You know, and this person is like, baby, hold on to me because they know that they, you know, this is the third time or the second time that the three of swords showed up when I was about to clarify the summer card, the meditate and then the justice, you know, so maybe they're getting some karma. Maybe this is a part of karma because maybe they broke your heart. They left your ass stranded out in the dust like they just left your ass there to die, you know, but you Scorpio. So you rule death. So you just regenerated and reincarnated and poof. You rose like the phoenix from the ashes. And that's why they asses is like, wait, why? But this is what you had to go through. You had to go through a painful loss. And these mofos did not know who they was fucking with because y'all said, okay, I'm going to go within. This is you healing yourself. This is you transmuting that negativity, that pain, that hurt, that trauma. 
And this is you grounding yourself. This is you centering yourself. This is you soul searching. And because of that, you're getting good karma. The divine saw everything. The divine witnessed it all, you know. And so now you're going to receive your just due. And it's because you are heartbroken. And somebody is in the background talking about, hold on to me. Please don't let me go because I know I did you dirty. But you've already emotionally withdrew. And you're giving it up to the divine. Like you're just releasing. You're letting go. And maybe this person is holding on, you know, with the hopes. You know, they're, they're, they're trying to be optimistic with the hopes that they could come back and, and justify. You know, maybe find, you know, a resolve or, or try to, like I said, heal this connection. They're looking for justice in this situation because I feel like they know they have hurt you or they know, you know, that there was some sort of betrayal and they want to, you know, they want to uh, clear the air, you know, speak the truth because the justice card is like almost like, you know, truths coming out, coming to, you know, somebody coming in to speak the truth to you. So why is um, summer meditate justice here for Scorpio's divine spirit? Of love and light. Why is summer meditate and justice here? Thank you, spirit. See that? The Ten of Wands. This is letting go. I mentioned the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, and there you have it. Somebody's definitely releasing and letting go of the pain, the hurt, you know, taking, getting rid of all the, the burdens. You know, you was carrying a lot of burdens, of carrying a lot of other people's bullshit on your back, on your shoulders, and now you're just releasing. Now you're just letting go. You just turned your back on all of that. You know, you just said enough is enough. You're no longer going to be everybody's like footstool and doormat. You're not just going to be like rolling over for everybody and just being like submit. Nah, you said enough is enough. You carried enough of people's bullshit on your back. That's why now you you have a zero tolerance for the shit. It's like zero tolerance. And that ten of wands becomes what? The ace of wands. So now you're in this, you know, this hermit mode in this meditation state. So that you can like emotionally withdraw, like I said, and heal. And you're going to probably emerge, you know, stronger during the summer months. You know, but I feel like, you know, this is you getting good karma for whatever, you know, everything you had to um, bear. You know, you bared a lot, a lot of drama. And I feel like somebody wants you to hold on to them because you got Gerald Levert singing Rising Power King. You know, and, and, and this is somebody that doesn't want you to let them go. You know, they know that you have been through a lot. Maybe they know they put you through a lot. You know, but this person is like, baby, hold on to me. Don't let me go. You, Because you, they can see, like I said, they can sense, like, you know, the time is up. You know, that hourglass is, uh, glass, hourglass is, is indicating that, you know, there's some sort of time. Time is running out. And maybe they're seeing it as such, like their time is running out. You know, maybe they're realizing how much, you know, shit you had on your shoulders in the first place. And now you super guarded, you know, but maybe this is this person also, you know, who's finally like, you know, closing out a chapter, finally releasing themselves of something that's been burdening them. Somebody that they've been carrying around, as I said, maybe like I said, um, you know, that person that they was in that relationship with that could have been just using them for stability and using them, you know, because they have a home together, whatever it is, you know, now they're letting it go. You know, they're no longer wanting to hold on to that connection. So why is clearance, trust, nine of wands and the hermit mode here? Divine spiritual. I love Scorpios. Let me see. All right. And we got um, biscuits here. And this is by Method Man. See, what did I say? Biscuits is another term for money, for finances. So just as I was talking about somebody and look at that, the ancestors, they, they're dead in that relationship. They're ending it because they want to come towards you. So this is why this person was in a relationship with somebody that was just with them for the money. Just with them for the stability. They wanted somebody to take care of their ass. And that's it. And that's why this person was using whatever tactics, whether rituals and voodoo spells or hoodoo spells. But they were still living their best life privately, you know. And this person found out about it. You see how he's like on the inside of some sort of like it looks like a home or some sort of cave or it's a dwelling of some sort. And he's looking at this candle. So it's almost like he's discovered this. He woke up, spirit moved him and told him to, you know, find out what was going on. And he did. He found out something was going on. He found out his woman, you know, was out there creeping around, sneaking around, cheating. And this broke the trust, the sanctity of the relationship. And with biscuits playing by Method Man, well, he's going to be very methodical in how he clears this shit up. 
You know, he's he's going to be very methodical. He's going to get the fuck out of that shit because it's toxic. And I know that because the death card is here. Ancestors is the death card. So somebody's ancestors encouraged them, motivated them and, you know, really moved them to to look at things, to be more intuitive. This death card definitely is speaking to the ending. It's a painful ending. This is a painful revelation to realize like, you know, somebody that you was, you know, bending over backwards and front and sideways for and giving up all your money and sacrificing your time and energy away from the person you really want to be with, with to stay someplace where somebody was just cheating and, you know, using you in the first place. So this death card, this is them going through that startling metamorphosis, transformation. That's what death represents. And remember, you got the trust. These this 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 process, this evolution from this lava to the caterpillar to the butterfly, that represents death and rebirth in and of itself. You know, it's the death of this lava, but it's the birth of this, you know, this caterpillar. And the death of this caterpillar is the birth of that butterfly. So that's the, you know, these are, it's almost like I'm hearing the word growing pain. Somebody had to go through this and grow through this more importantly. And they learn, you know, remember how I was mentioning how scraggly he was looking. It was like he, he was like not himself. He wasn't his self because he was being influenced. And that goat back there is telling me that he had like some sort of, you know, some dark entities working on his ass. But uh, he did that. See that? I said dark entities and dark entities. And this is the magician right here. See that? The magician. So somebody was definitely like, you know, um, they was definitely um, manipulating this person's energy. And they was doing so for the money because Biscuits was just playing. And now we got little brother, and this is called whatever you say. So, yeah, this person, they, whoever they found out about that was cheaping, creeping, sneaking, they're going to come back and they're going to be like, yeah, whatever you say, whatever. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about because I, I can't trust you to begin with. <laughs> I, I don't trust the damn thing you're talking about. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you say, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody going to try to, like, smooth shit out going to try to talk their way out of it because they so used to gaslighting anyway so let's see what we got coming in thank you look at that the tower moment i can't make this shit up it's the tower it's the ending clearing up this cycle closing it up every ending denotes a new beginning that's exactly what this is for and look at this nine of coins they're coming after you they're coming after y'all scorpio because now they see your worth and value they see you as somebody that creates like a beautiful environment, a loving environment, grounded. You're like that divine feminine. You know how to get your own. You're not, you know, somebody that's going to be all codependent and looking for them to take care of you and to save you. It's like you doing just fine on your own. And that's something that's attractive. And with whatever you say, I feel like this person, as I said, you know, even with your energy, I feel like this person is going to be very like submissive. Like whatever you say, they're going to be willing to do it. They're going to be very attentive. You know what I'm saying? Because that's another way to look at it. They're going to be willing to, you know, to be more, um, more attentive, more affectionate. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be willing to do more of what you want them to say because they have this passion, this fire, this desire for you, you know, and, and, and they, they're not going to feel any type of way doing it because they, they enjoy it. They want to make you happy. You know, this is somebody that wants to build that future, you know, and here, look at this. This is like, this is how you, you sitting pretty. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know this shit is coming. It, it's like, it's here. You don't even know. But this is because you, you know, when you, when you're just radiating love and light and confidence, you just attract shit to you. And that's what you're doing. You're attracting things to you. And this is the changes you've made, you know? So whatever dark night of the soul journey you've gone through, I feel strongly you've triggered someone that is your divine masculine, divine feminine, your twin flame. So let's see why is passion, leadership, and death here for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit. All right. So we got a couple of messages. We got death here again. So there definitely is. This is like they're saying done, done, fin. Something is done, done, fin. I'm only taking the cards that flew, you know, on the upright. So we got the uh, ten. We got the 10 of coins. So this is somebody that's definitely seeing you as someone they could build a future with. We got the 10 of baskets. Look at this shit. I didn't even see this. This person, the 10 of baskets, the 10 of um, coins. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all those smiling faces on both cards. You make them happy, Scorpio. They realize with you, the shit is not a job to be with you. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to worry about what is my person doing. They, they see here that they have stability. This is happy house, happy spouse vibes. 
This is a happily ever after. This is somebody that has literally been manifesting you and you have been manifesting them. The four of coins, they have not let you go. Since the last time you spoke to them, since the last time you knew them, whether this lifetime or another, you know what I'm saying? This person has not let you go. They've been holding on. They've been manifesting you and they've been, it's all been a matter of divine time. And look at this shit. This is Father Sims, which is the temperance. You know, divine timing is of the essence. This person's passion has been intensifying, has been growing, and it's because this person loves you. And we got whatever you say. This person going to come back and they're going to be willing to do whatever you say. This is a divine connection because even their angels and guides have been guiding them towards you. You know, this is somebody who may be very spiritual. They could have been praying. You know, they've been calling you in. But look at this. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles both flew out together. And then you also have the... um the um what you call it the son of coins so this is like you know somebody coming in see now this person now it's like they're learning you know it's almost like they're learning they're trying to figure out okay because remember you got whatever you say so now maybe they're learning they're growing maybe there was a little immature in the past emotionally and so now they're learning your love language and look where his finger is pointing he's pointing right at scorpio where scorpio is you see that right where scorpio lands if you look closely his finger is pointing to Scorpio. So he's learning you. And that's why I was saying here, you had a secret admirer. He's holding a book as is this. This is a book. So they're studying you. They're learning you. They're trying to figure out, you know, the approach, how to come back. And with this daughter of coins, more smiles, more happiness. This is investing. This is somebody willing to invest, wanting to invest long term, wanting to give to you, wanting to build a nucleus. This is somebody wanting to build a family. And this is your energy. <laughs> you are some like, yeah, I don't know what you coming. Who goes a hark? Who goes there? Shit. That's what you're saying. Hark who fucking goes there because you on your like you on your <laughs> your blocker, blocker, blocker shit. You don't went through all kind of transformations and deaths. And so now you like you on guard. You know what I'm saying? You are protecting your peace by any means, any strategy, beloved. But the divine was telling you, be receptive. You got to be receptive. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody is coming in for the right reasons, not the wrong. And you have every right to feel that way because I do feel like a lot of y'all went through some unnecessary nonsense. So let's see what else we got. Right now we got the line. And this is by D'Angelo. So yeah, you defensive because somebody crossed the line with you. But you, you drew a new line in the sand. You better believe that. So I'm going to get one more message, a couple more messages, and we're going to wrap it up. This is, this is for real this time. So we got the world card here on the bottom of the deck. So definitely, again, just, you know, veggie backing off the fact that you all have completed a cycle. And we have um, the world. The world. And then we have no reciprocity, only take, take, take. So that's why you're very defensive. Because you're not, you're not interested in anybody coming around looking to take anything from you anymore. Because you have worked your ass off to get to this point where you are, you know, that leader. Where you have the stability. And you're not going to sacrifice that shit for nobody. I don't give a damn who it is. You know what I'm saying? You are not going to fall for the okie doke ever again in life, beloved. So let's go ahead and clarify this. Yep, you don't want nobody throwing you out of balance. Because you've worked hard. This this world card here is definitely speaking to you also growing, evolving, transforming, and seeing the world in a completely different way. You are not as gullible. You are not as, as naive. You're not willing to go, you know, bending over backwards for mofos no more. Like, those days are over. It's a wrap. All right. So, let's see what we got. Let's go ahead. My cards seem to be... What deal? I'm for real. So, yeah, you ain't let nobody cross the line. You done drew the line in the sand and you like, I dare you. I dare you. I double, triple dare you to step over the line. <laughs> that's what y'all That's what y'all are saying. Because this is D'Angelo. <laughs> you double, triple dare my foes. You like, yeah, I double, triple dare you, beloved. Don't play with me. All right. So let's go ahead and get these messages, divine spirit, and then we're going to wrap it up. All right, so success. Look at that. This is that ching ching. This is them biscuits. That's the biscuits. Y'all about to manifest. Y'all manifesting a lot of abundance, a lot of stability, and you being spiritually guided, divinely protected. That's why y'all are on, you know, y'all y'all moving forward. Y'all ain't falling for the okie doke no more. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my beloved Scorpios. See that? What did I say? I ain't making this shit up. They watching, they clocking. This been coming out in every reading. Y'all y'all are just y'all might as well just get up one day 
if you got a social media platform and just take a bow and shit, just start taking bows. The motherfuckers is just like, they are obsessed, man. They are just tuning and tapping in. They are just like, start giving shout outs to all the people that are watching. <laughs> people that are watching. And these motherfuckers is watching you with like, they just like sick with it. You know, even though they don't fuck with you, they still going to watch. Even though they don't like you, they still going to watch. And that's the funny thing about it. And this this is like, at some point, you guys got to like, you know, some of these mofos, they got some mental illness. Like, there's something going on upstairs that's not right. Because I'm not tuning in to people I don't like. I, I feel stupid watching somebody I don't rock with like that. I, like, what kind of fool would I be? Just watch somebody that I don't really like. You know what I'm saying? So, the, that's mental illness, baby. That's why that, that devil card showed up that's why that hex shit because people be so jealous so envious that they want to harm another person and look at this why because this is what they're watching you do transmute negativity be that alchemist be that magi you know that spiritual practitioner healer shaman light worker that you are you know you also very in tune you paying attention to spirit and downloads and see that you got the fiery wall of protection you know impenetrable wall of protection and that's by archangel mikael so some of y'all could be doing those, um, you know, that Archangel, Archangel Mikael, um, you know, prayer, that nine week prayer that I was telling y'all about a couple of readings back. And that's beautiful. Keep doing it. You know, keep doing it. You'll start seeing those those um, miracles take place. You'll start seeing your prayers being answered. So the bottom of the deck, we got music is my sanctuary. Y'all better make your music then. That's what's going to lead to music. I also feel like this is the song. It's leading me to listen to this song clairaudiently. So this is called The Line, as I said. And I feel like some of you all, there's definitely going to be somebody that calls you on your line. They're going to hit your line. There's going to be communication. I feel like somebody definitely hears music and it reminds them of you. And maybe the music is telling them to come towards you, to make a move, to bust a move, to travel to see you, whatever it is. Music is my sanctuary. That's like your safe haven. You know, everything is real. Everything is just like simplistic. Everything is easier. I feel when you just, you know, turn on your music, you just like your escape, you know, and with this, I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. I'm about to clarify the book of shadows perspective, the um, moon and the nine of pentacles and the two of baskets. So this was this was absolutely the disconnect between you and this person. They did not emote. And we obviously see that because there's a the, there's a secret there. You know, so this person's been like hiding this and maybe you all knew all along that this person felt that way, you know, because you're very intuitive, you know, but I feel like this person now knows like they're going to have to take action. You know, they're going to have to come towards you if they want to change the situation and the circumstance. They're going to have to come out of hiding. And right now we got um, this is Estelle. And this is called back in love. So I do feel like, yeah, this person is going to return. Remember, I was picking up like somebody wants to resurrect or reunite or reconnect. So y'all are going to be back in love. This is going to be that person that like, you know, you know who this is. I feel like if, if, if you've met this person in this lifetime, you already met this person. And if you didn't meet them, you're going to feel like you knew them from a former life. And this is back in love. So for this to be back in love, this got to be somebody you know, that you have, you know, like an acquaintance or somebody, you know, already, you know, and with I don't do well with people who are detached. This is I feel strongly. This is your this is your sentiment, Scorpios, because you are emotional. You know, you rule emotion. You know, that is your el element is, you know, um, you know, or your strong point is, you know, being emotional. So I do feel like, you know, this is was your sentiment. Like you could not be around somebody or dealing with somebody that just was, you know, not really emotional, didn't know how to emote. But I feel this person is definitely going to change you. They're going to change. They're going to change something. And this is, this is like, so let's see. Why is Book of Shadows perspective, Nine of Pentacles, the moon, and two of baskets here? See that? No reciprocity, only take, take, take. That's why. That's why. This person did not reciprocate. You could have been very, you know, very giving. You could have been, uh, you know, very forward. I feel like y'all were were more than um, open and, and honest about maybe your feelings, whereas somebody hid theirs, you know? And so you felt like you was giving, 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 and they was just taking and not giving you anything, not even giving you any sign that they were interested. So, you know, you're gonna have your pick of the little, you're gonna have options. Maybe somebody had an option um, other than you and they chose the other option. And now they're learning very quickly that, you know, everything that glitters is in gold, you know? And so now, 
this is why that heartbreak was there because they also are going through some sort of heartbreak. You know, they're going through some painful loss we see here with this, uh, you know, this big tower. So they're going through that tower moment. So let's see what we got. Why summer meditate the justice and the ten of sticks here for Scorpios? Divine spirit of love and light. Why is the summer meditate justice? Thank you, spirit. Watching me. <laughs> they watching and learning, though. That's what I heard first. I heard watching and learning. So it's like you're teaching them and they're learning from you. They're teaching. This is called tough love. When you, you say, pardon my back to the world. When you take that time. Look at this. Look at all these eyes. Look at this. You got watching me. And then you got the freaking. I always feel like everybody's watching me. And they watching you. Like, do you? That's what they watching. They watching you, like, literally love on you. You know, this is the emotional withdrawal, man. This is you, like, I'm not focusing on that, all of that nonsense. You, you've, you've, like, literally, you know, released yourself of burdens, released yourself of baggage, released yourself of the toxicity, and you took it to the healing. You're in hermit mode. So some of y'all disconnected from everything, detached from everything, unplugged from the world, man. And you're doing you and you're back in love. She's saying back in love. I feel like you're back in love with yourself, you know, loving you. You got to first love you before you could ever know what loving others feel like. And I feel like that's what you all are doing. Like you're back in love with yourself because now you're grounded, you're centered. Now you're in spiritual alignment, no longer carrying the burden, the burdens of other people's bullshit on your shoulders. And now that's why you have this, this karmic justice. You have some sort of some justice, maybe even an apology coming in and somebody's watching, you know, kind of like trying to trying to time it, trying to figure out the right time. But you also have other people watching, stalking, clocking, hateful jealous maybe this is that crazy ex that got wind that your person is feeling you or maybe this is just haters in general but you got a lot of motherfucking eyes watching so you gotta be mindful of that and it's been coming out in every reading so why is um clearance trust thank you clearance trust what is that the nine of wands the hermit and the big house which is the tower and this says, I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. So now this person is getting a dose of their own fucking medicine. <laughs> Whoever you, somebody getting a dose of their medicine, man. Whoever this was that gave that treatment to you is like, they going through this now with whoever they was with, you know. And this is all teaching them, you know, how to be more honest, how to be, um, you know, transparent. You can't be like expecting shit that you ain't willing to do. You know, how you want people to give you, you know, some love and, 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 you know, be attached to their emotion when it comes to you. But you ain't, you know, you ain't doing it. You got to you got to practice with your peach. So I feel somebody's going through that. And that's what's leading to a towel moment, you know, with this choose wisely. See, they made the wrong choice. They made the wrong choice. This is that same person that didn't see your worth or value or maybe they saw, you know, somebody else as the better option. Maybe because, like I said, some material or superficialities, you know, but now they're looking at things like from a deep, different perspective and vantage point. And now they're realizing like, damn, you know, I need some sort of attentiveness. That's my love language. I need somebody that's going to be honest. That's my love language. I need somebody that's going to spend some time with me and not keep my ass in the house while they out hoeing around. That's my love language. So now they know like, damn, I got a clear house. I got a clean house. I got to get rid of all this baggage. I got to like cut myself free from shit that no longer honors me, serves my greatest good. And that's the epiphany they're having. And that's why this tower moment is here because something, you know, this, this castle is being brought down. And, you know, this this is based off of their own decisions. That's why this justice is here, because they're going through some sort of, you know, this is like they're, they're reaping what they sowed also, you know. It's almost like the heartbreak they caused, you know, is like now they're having to go through it. They're going through some sort of karmic lesson. And now we got um, we got Gangstar and this is called Full Clip. So, yeah, you know, they're going to come back full clip. They're going to definitely come back. And I feel like they're going to shoot their shot. That's what I'm hearing first and foremost with full clip. And um, I feel like, you know, especially with those chariot cards showing up, I do feel like this time around they're going to have more confidence. They're going to be more assertive and they're going to be willing to, like, do whatever it takes, even though you're very defensive. It's like because this person has studied. They've been watching you. They've been learning your love language. You know, this this book here. So they know 
what it is your your love language is and i feel like especially with you being in this this leadership energy they know they can't they can't come in um giving you the bare minimums that's why the son of coins is here but it goes all the way up to the 10 because they know they're going to have to like they're going to have to like invest they're going to have to come in with the intention to build you know to to invest long term and not just coming in for a good time or coming in just to you know be passionate and all of that and lustful and shit that shit ain't going to excite you because it's like you've changed you've transformed there's, there's been a, a complete shift in your energy you know so let's see why is passion death um leadership ten of cups ten of pentacles son of coins daughter of coins and the four of coins and the son of sticks here for scorpio's divine spirit thank you spirit what did i say a alike b alike and protective bubble. This is what a protective bubble is. You're protecting your peace by any means, any strategy. You know what I'm saying? Because you've already been disappointed in the past. That's the protective, bu protective bubble. Do not disturb my groove. That's also this energy. Emotional withdrawal. You know, taking a pause from the outside world. But this person definitely knows that you guys have more in common than not. You know, they realize like you're their like mind. That's like the yin yang. You're the yang to their yin. They're the, the yang to your yin, yin to your yang, whatever you say. This person definitely sees that this is a spiritual connection. This is a powerful one. They was trying to be a player in the past and the player probably got played. You know, they was playing a lot of mind games. Look at that. I just said they was the player got played. Look what we got right underneath that. It says play a player from the Himalayas and it says I'm falling off my game. I messed around and fell in love with you. Damn. So this is the person, you know, some of you guys know who this is. I feel strongly that some of you guys, you may have known this person. Maybe you worked with them. Maybe you lived around them. Maybe you uh, grew up with them, went to school with them. Maybe they're an old friend. But whoever this is, this is somebody that definitely, um, you know, even if you haven't met them, this is somebody that is, um, is really like, you know, maybe they was used to be a player and, you know, they got played and now they they're going to be more emotionally intelligent. But if you do know who this is, if you guys have like that, that person that got away or if you have somebody that you feel is your twin, I feel strongly like that person that could have played you in the past and abandoned you in the past, ghosted you in the past is like now having second thoughts. And they've been watching you for a while and they see your transformation. They see that you've grown and this is like making them even more attracted to you. They've fallen in love with you. And they've fallen in love with you. You know what I'm saying? Not with what you have, not with your finances, not with the fact that you came up like Big Pun was saying. But they fell in love with the fact that you have transformed, you know. And although it could be a little uh, intimidating, you know, approaching you, you know, but this person, they really, they really love you. Because that, that Mac Wild song... Um, you know, was was showing that they were a little afraid of of um, rejection. But, you know, the name of the album, remember, I said it was like called a love story. So this is like a love story in the making for y'all. And I feel definitely, you know, this is a blessing, a gift. This is wish fulfillment. This is a miracle being granted. And I feel like it's because a lot of you all, you know, have had to, you know, forgive people, you know, who hurt you. you. A lot of you all persevered through a lot of difficulties in the past. We see that with transformation. You've gone through enormous change, but you've stayed, you know, you stayed righteous. You stayed just, you know, you didn't take away anybody's free liberties. You didn't get nasty, catty, vengeful, you know, and this is why you're receiving good karma. This is why you're receiving blessings and wish fulfillment and love. Ultimate. You got the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. That's stability. That is like happy house, happy spouse. That's the epitome of being content. Love, you know, feeling content. And this is beautiful. And the divine is rem reminding you, you know, um, you know, that a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. You know, so be mindful to not get distracted um, you know, by anything or anyone, you know, especially even these people, you know, maybe you got some folks that's going to be trying to like, you know, do the whole, you know, that, um, trolling shit. If you do have, you know, uh, online platforms, just ig the ignorance and block their ass. Don't even respond. Don't give them no energy, you know, cause you're going to have people trying to distract you cause they see that you are busy working on you. This is like, I'm busy, baby. 
you know but this is your reading beloved scorpios i hope the message is resonate if you found that it did please be kind hit the like share subscribe button definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever i upload if you are new i hope you stay a while and if you are returning you already know what it is beloved is love is love is love until next time i'll share